Hello and welcome to this week's BNZ World Report. I am your host, Angela Ray, where we will discuss global topics and events from around the world. Our first story comes to us from the BBC News website.com and it's our health story and it reads meditation eases heart disease so heart disease patients who practice transcendental medication have reduced death rates according to u.s research officials at a meeting of the american heart association they randomly selected 201 african americans and told them to either meditate or change their lifestyles and after nine years those in the meditation group had a 47% reduction of stroke, heart attacks, and deaths. Now, the research was carried out by the Medical College of Wisconsin and the Maharashi University of Iowa. So, the study was actually funded by a grant from the National Institute of Health and the National Heart and Lung and Blood Institute. So, okay, I know what you're thinking. What is Transcendental medica Meditation? Well, it was actually started in 1955 in India by Maharashi Mahesh Yoga. It was popularized in the 1960s by the Beatles who traveled to India to learn the practice from the founder himself. And what happened with the research study, the meditation group were actually asked to meditate 20 minutes per day, twice a week. And over the nine years, there were 20 events, heart attacks, strokes, or deaths in the meditation group, while there were 31 in the health education group. At the end of the nine years, however, 80% of those in the meditation group were still keeping up with the practice but there was very little change in the health education group. Now, in addition to seeing a lower risk of incidents, those in the meditation group also significantly reduced their blood pressure as well as psychological stress. So I think that some of us might need to research this transcendental meditation so that we can add some good stuff to our health. Now from the IndieStar.com, they pose the question, is African boarding school the answer to Indiana's inner city kids? Now, I don't know about you, but what they're proposing is whether or not you would send your child to school halfway across the world if it meant the chance to escape the distractions of dangerous neighborhoods. A group of Indiana University professors is preparing to ask inner city parents across Indiana to do just that ship their kids to a boarding school that they plan to launch with promises of a good education. The only problem? The school is in Ghana, West Africa. Moving to Western Africa, the professors say, would be just what's needed from some school students at risk of getting caught up in violence or gangs. They would get to see the world, get away from bad influences, and be in a controlled setting focused on academics. The classes would be taught by Indiana teachers using Indiana educational standards in a school overseen by the state of Indiana. Just on a different continent. Now, Jay, I know that you teach. So would you be willing uh, to send your kids to a school halfway across the country, halfway across the world, actually, if it meant that they could get a better education and, and get away from some problems in the neighborhood? You think about it, you marinate that. Well, okay, so I know what you're thinking. They're going to school all the way in Ghana, West Africa. There is a list, a long list of what if scenarios. Uh, things like terrorist attacks, government instability, medical emergencies, all of those things are basically weighing on the minds of the powers that be. This founding group of individuals, which includes professors of law, business, psychology, and marketing and education. They're all thinking about the possibilities, but they think that the potential risk definitely do not outweigh the benefits. So why did they choose Ghana? Well, it's one of the most stable countries in Africa right now. Now, in the world of sports, if you have not heard, Buffalo fired coach Dick Jarn, and who did they promote? Harry Fewell, that is the defensive coordinator. Um, he had a very simple but blunt philosophy when he decided to take over as head coach of the Buffalo Bills, and he said that they plan to 
play like hell and win. Now, this is definitely a challenge for him coming into the team because they only have seven games. Is that right? Yes, seven games left in the season. And of course, the Bills have not been in the playoffs for 10 consecutive seasons. So we wish him uh, the best of luck and a blessed season as he tries to finish up with these seven games. And we also wish that for my team, the Carolina Panthers and our own Jake DeLome. And in the world of music, our great friend, Mr. Curtis Blow is celebrating 30 years, or at least a 30 year anniversary of the song Christmas Rapping. You may have seen Mr. Blow uh, recently on the Monique show, but we say congratulations, Curtis. Keep doing what you're doing with Christmas rapping and basketball and everything else. All right, in our final story in the world of business and finance, millions may have to repay part of the Obama tax credit. Okay, so we've been hearing a lot about numbers lately and for more than about 15.4 million people, the Making Work Pay tax credit that was enacted as a part of the $787 billion economic tax credit could turn out to be the Making You Pay Back tax credit. That, of course, is the finding of a government watchdog report out, which says that the credit provides $400 for individuals filing by themselves, as well as $800 for those who are making joint filings. It's the signature tax cut that President Obama promised in his campaign and was delivered with much fanfare back in February. But here is the problem. In order to maximize the credit stimulative effect on the economy, withholding changes actually went into effect this April. So basically people were advanced these credits in their federal tax income over the 2009 and 2010 year. So what this means is that if you were advanced too much, you might have to pay that money back. So uh, for those of you who have reaped the benefits of that tax credit, you probably want to uh, pay attention and maybe put a little money aside to repay Uncle Sam. And that's it for this week's B and Z World Report. For more news that you can use 24 hours a day, please visit the website at brandnews.com. And if you have a great story idea or a comment about the World Report, feel free to email me at Angela at brandnews.com. Make it a great week. So Jay, you're gonna send your kids to Africa, huh? You're thinking about it. That's a long ways, but you gotta think about what's good for the kids, so. Cool. It's possible. It's possible. <laughs>